you can relax. That's the name of our podcast. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Relax the Podcast. My name is Colleen Ballinger. I'm here with Carrot Stocklin. Thank you. The one and only. I love when you call me everyone. What? You said hello, everyone. You're oh. looking at me. I was talking to everyone. Oh. I was introducing you to or them to you. Anyway, welcome to Relax the Podcast. The one to two hours a week where Eric and I get two to- Two hours? Sometimes it takes two hours for us to record. Oh, I thought you remember like this is a two hour podcast. No, 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 no. The podcast usually ends up being like, I don't know, 40 minutes to an right, hour. Right, okay, like yeah, you scared no, but it, me. We get, to, we get to have like we one talk, to two hours yeah, sure. to hang out together. That's so fun. Without the children around. Nope. Um, it's our time to relax. It's or our bigger. date. Day? Night? Mm -hmm. Whenever we- ha Today it's a date day. Date day. But, um, you know, we always start off the episodes with who needs to relax, lovey. Uh-huh. And so I want to know who you think needs to relax. But I, before I jump into that- Sure. I, I want to I say to the people who are watching slash listening, your comments are incredible on the YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Keep those wonderful comments coming. I'm going to read a bunch of your comments later. But it was overwhelming last week, love, how many people were concerned for you. Concerned about what? Your health. Oh, people my, were my, genuinely so uh -oh, concerned about yeah. you. I wondered if, after it was like I was afterwards. I was like, oh, that was an awkward thing because uh, me talking about my stomach. You, it caused a ruckus. Oh yeah, and not just in your tummy and in the toilet. Like it caused a ruckus amongst the community. Like I should see a everyone yeah, was like, gastro. go to a doctor. That is Ugh. not normal. You should not be taking that much tums. Like something is wrong. I'm like, not. Please. I'm not. I was exaggerating. I'm fine. I know, but I do. I do agree that maybe you should go see a doctor. Well. But like were, it they was, it was that, were they doctors that were they doctors that were commenting? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, we, really? Uh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, I have a, I have doctors, so. Google that actually, me. <laughs> that actually tums. see me, so. I'll let yeah, them no, decide. yeah, you should, you should talk to a doctor about your tum tums, my love. Okay. There were also people who were like, hey, my tummy always hurts too. That's funny. Yeah. So well, there I, people I, agreed. I, and I then was, there honestly, like you were wearing that shirt and it made me think about it. I was like, oh, we can. The we can. parrot shirt made you no, think about your, your tummy shirt being upset? No, your shirt that says my tummy hurts. And I was like, oh, she, she had a shirt made that says my tummy mm -hmm. hurts. Like I was wearing the parrot shirt that last Yeah, week. but I'm saying I'd seen you wearing the shirt oh, the previous see, see, day. See, 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 and so I was like, maybe I'll talk about that because she can probably relate. I didn't think, you know. Yeah, no, my tummy usually hurts. I would from then anxiety be, uh, things, but not from food. Every time I eat, I'm not yeah, sick. Not, no, I don't think I would air genuine medical concerns on this podcast. I, I think don't it, think you did I it think on it's purpose. More, yeah. Anyway, Hyperbole. who needs to relax for you this week? <laughs> oh, well, this week I heard, I heard you say, uh -huh. I heard you say you need to relax. I heard you say those words. I say it all the time. That's why we named it this. We always say relax. Right. You know? Yeah. But I heard you say it in, in, in the context. I was like, oh, I have to mention that. It's not my relax, but I thought it was so funny. Can okay. you think of what it was? To one of our children, you sweetly I said, said it to our child. You said you need to relax to you one of our kids. Uh, it was probably when they were all, it was chaotic and something crazy was happening. And yes. I said, I probably didn't say it rudely. I would never. So I, I, no, sure I said I sweetly. Like, hey, I, said, I said you said it sweetly. I don't remember saying that. What, when did I say that? Two kids are in a bath. Mm -hmm. One kid is getting his bangs trimmed. Oh yes, this because, is good trauma. Because um, the hair gets in his eyes and was bothering them, mm -hmm. and so you just did a little mom bang trim, as you're famous for. Like you're very good I'm at trimming. Famous for a bang trim. A bang trim. Um, and so, but like this caused hysterics from this particular child. Yes. He's, so, oh yes. And so I you remember. were telling you were telling him <laughs> that it doesn't hurt because it's your hair that your hair doesn't hurt, but which but which a young person mm -hmm. of this age doesn't understand. And so he- He was saying it did hurt. He was saying it did hurt. Every time you would snip a little bit of a hair, he would scream like it was hurting him. And you're like, no, 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 it doesn't, it doesn't hurt. It's just your hair. You just need to relax. And he, yeah, yeah. And he screamed the funniest thing I've heard all uh -huh. week, which was there are bones in my hair. Yeah, he did say that. <laughs> he said there are bones no, it in my hurts. hair. It hurts, it hurts the bones. There's the bones in my it hair. It hurts the bones in my hair. And to be clear, uh, the way that I was trimming his, which by the way, today he said I trimmed nine of his hairs, which is probably accurate. Yeah. It looks, it looks like that. Yeah. I was just, there was like hairs that were getting into his eyeballs. So yeah, yeah. anyway, I, um, I hold the hair in my hand. Like I cl clip it with my fingers. Like if I was doing fingers, scissors, you know, uh -huh. that's kind of how I hold the hair in my hands and then I don't pull and make sure it's loose so that there's no way he could possibly, he doesn't feel a tugging. He no. doesn't feel I mean, literally there's nothing he could have possibly felt other than my fingers gently caressing his hair to pick it up at first. Right. But then once the clipping, every time he heard the sound of the scissors, he'd say, yeah. ow. I um, think this is something parents do. I think other parents do this to their children. So they don't the hair in their eyes bother them. I think people do it to like, 
they're if they have like a schnauzer you a know schnauzer. what I mean? like a dog, a dog. you know what i mean okay. like like i had a dog once you have mm-hmm. to trim mm-hmm. otherwise the hair would get in her eyes i think people people do this um and i think kids don't understand that that and clipping nails yeah he's he's has he has a issue with that as well um but i have gotten rough haircuts not from you but from like a like back in the day, like a super cuts, a like rough, kind of, you know, people being rough my hair. Like it doesn't bother me. I think when you have thick curly hair and a mom who brushes it out, uh-huh. like you got a, you got a firm scalp. My, like you could brush my hair so hard. You could probably rip it out really? of my head and I would be like, I all right. I, th- I find that some combs uh, feel like razor blades. Well, like, Macy's holding them. Right. Yeah. She, she has a particular way of doing hair. No, but I mean like getting a haircut right there and they like, kind of comb it aggressively. I would get like marks. Oh my. On my forehead of like a, like comb marks. Who, who are you going to? That should never happen. That sounds that terrible. Happen. I'm so sorry. I don't know. I've got um, some rough haircuts or like a hair, hair makeup trailer. Like, okay. I feel like uh, Again, maybe, maybe I have sensitive like follicles that don't have bones in my hair per se. Yeah. But I think I, I know where Flynn gets it all of a sudden, <laughs> but I don't, I don't scream grab it up, but I'm like, ah, oh, it's like, it's like rough. Hmm. I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah. I don't experience that. I think any girl out there who has thick curly hair, would understand like when your mom brushes out your hair and it's thick and curly and tangled. It's a different like, thing, right? You just, well, you just get used to it. Like you're just like, yeah, my mom's doing my hair and ripping yeah. out all my hair. You know, not, not ripping out my hair, but just like you get used to rough and tough in it. Cause you gotta, you gotta get those tangles out, man. Yeah. So yeah, my hair, my scalp is not sensitive at all. Yeah. You could tug away and I won't feel anything. But I just like heard, I just heard you say, you need to relax. You need to relax. And then I heard the screams of, no, there's bones in my hair. <laughs> yeah, I did say um, that. And that just, so I wrote that down. But my actual relax is um, another story. But it's another, that has to do with one of our other kids. Mm-hmm. Um, but we it's, have so many. But we'd have so many. Um, but it's more, it's it's about like smells. Okay. Specifically car smells, uh-huh. which I feel like we as a family um, struggle with. Yes. Is car scent. Mm-hmm. Um, I think there's even like a Glade plug-in in our minivan. There For is. some reason it has a plug and in it is a Glade yeah. thing mm-hmm. that's not, I don't know that that's helping or okay. it's fighting a losing battle, I would say, to the, the to the many smells in our family uh, minivan. Mm-hmm. Which you, I mean, I think even this week you were like, I think we left some smoothies in there. Yeah, it was reeky. And it was like super, you were like, the van is super reeky. Yeah. Wait, so which one of our kids needs to relax with well, so I was car? with the, I was with the, this is, I haven't told you this story. Oh, okay. But I was with a kid uh, a few weeks ago. A kid had an appointment. And a ki- I, just a kid. One of our kids. Yeah. I'm just not, <laughs> I don't want to. I'm not being specific. Okay. Uh, but one of our kids had an appointment and I took said child alone. Okay. And as we were waiting for appointment, um, said child. Um, Pooped. I mean, this is the relaxed podcast. Can we talk about poop? I guess we're going to. He de- de- is, it, is it better if I say defecated? I think poop's fine. They defecated the they pooped themselves. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, of course, uh, for the, this, for the first time had no diaper bag or anything. It just like, it didn't occur to me in this instance. Mm-hmm. So I had no diapers or wipes with me or anything like that. I and mean, it was a, you know, it was a big old stinky defecation. Mm-hmm. Um, so I panicked and I ran out of lobby, which happened to be next to a target. Mm-hmm. And while holding a child, with poop in their, um, in their pants. To be clear, I know you're trying to be discreet with who we're talking about. I do think we should clarify it was not Flynn. <laughs> yeah, okay. The young, one of the younger, yeah. <laughs> one of the two youngers. Or, yeah. Um, so yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that narrows it down a little bit. <laughs> well, I'm not trying to narrow <laughs> to it down. The, I'm just trying to make it no thing that Flynn, the, yeah. the five is like, yeah. you know, I guess that hey, can happen, man. but. Anyway, you, you can poop your pants at any age. It's fine. I do. No shame. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Um, but so I'm right. Like have a, this child over my shoulder, I'm running through target. It stinks. And I'm desperately like just trying to grab diapers and wipes. And it's the only thing I'm buying. And I ended up having to buy a truck too. Um, I think you just said who we're talking about. They can't guess from that. (laughs) Okay. And so then I, then I go to the trunk of my car and I'm, I'm like, you know, I was, I was like in line for this appointment. So I have to like get back there. So this is all happening very rapidly, very fast, change the child in, in the trunk of my car. Um, and and then I have this poopy diaper that I've wadded up. You know, you make a little ball out of it. And then I was like, what do I do with this? And I happen to have in the back of my uh, car, an, like a Vans shoebox, mm-hmm. like an empty Vans shoebox, because I'm 17 years old and I had gone to Vans and gotten some shoes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so I was like, 
didn't see any trash can around. Didn't want to like bring it with me and late to this appointment. So I just put it in the shoe box and closed it. Cause I felt like that was, a, a, you know, it wasn't out. It was like a secure place for it to be. For you to forget about it is where it was. So then yeah. I run back in and I made it just in time to the appointment and everything was great. Two and a half weeks go by. Love. <laughs> You're lying to me. You didn't drive your car for two and a half weeks. I drove my car every day. For How two did and you half not weeks. know? How did you not smell that? I did. And you just left it. Just forgot. I just How didn't you know. Forget, but you're smelling it. You can't forget it if you're smelling it. I'm s- no, I didn't. I didn't. No, I, I didn't forget that it smelled when I was in the car. You but forget I forget that it was the poop forgot the origin. The sm- yes. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I see. So like, I'm like, I'm like, oh, maybe it was like this, and I'm throwing out things, and then like I, I had had like um like a sushi thing in the car. And I was like, Oh, maybe it was that and threw that out, but it only been in there for like a day, you know, mm-hmm. um, days went on. And I was like, I was really sick. And I checked it, but I would just see a shoe box. I'm oh like, there's nothing. God. Didn't even, I was like, it's just a shoe box. It's not like the shoe box isn't smelling. You forgot that you put it in the shoe box. You saw yes. the shoe box. And you saw forgot. the shoe box. I was like, it's just a shoe box. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's wild. So then one day I was pumping gas and I do like a little gas station clean out, you know, when you're waiting for, do you do that when you're sure. pumping gas? No. Like I'll clean out these cups nah. and I looked in the back and I saw that box. I was like, Oh, and I opened it. Didn't smell good. Oh no. Love. Figured it out. Wow. Put it in the trash. Wow. Um, and it still smells a little bit in there. Now see the, definitely the family car, the minivan is yes. always stocked with diapers and wipes and snacks and everything we need. Clean ones. Yes. Not dirty ones. Um, uh-huh. but your personal car just doesn't have a, an emergency kiddo pack. Cause we usually don't take that car with the kids. Right. Yeah. We don't take it with, the, with everyone. Um, and when you took him, her, the person who knows who it was, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> you didn't think to bring a little bag. Yeah, I didn't, but now I, uh, and I now definitely you'll will. never forget. Yeah. Just in case. Um, cause it was, but it was classic. That is classic madness. I can't believe that chaos. Um, poop story. So you smelled poop and you didn't think that's poop? I didn't like, it didn't like smell like poop. (laughs) (laughs) It smelled worse. Oh gosh. Like, like, um, I don't know. I can't think of something. Can you name some, what's the, what do you think smells bad? Name things you think smell bad. Poop's real bad. What else? Um, burnt things in the microwave. It's one of my least favorite smells I think in the world. And when you have a pot, that's not a great pot and the flame on the stovetop, like, hits like the handle the hand, like, melts like the plastic. I have old old pots that like were yeah. passed down to me for my I grandma know the exact smell, and so yeah. sometimes like the flames go around the pot too much and they kind of like it doesn't catch fire the handles but they just like chars the handle chars it yeah and the smell of that is really disgusting yeah. that like makes me want to throw up um the smell of vomit pretty disgusting okay vomit. am I just listing things that smell bad yeah I can keep going probably okay cool um hmm. I couldn't think of anything so this is great Really? You couldn't yeah. think of anything? No. Yeah, but I think poop's probably up there with one yeah, of the worst so it, smells. It was, so all those things you just listed, like a combination of those wow. is like kind of what it's smelling. But it was like oddly subtle because it was in the shoe box. You know what I mean? It was muted. Mm-hmm. It was disguised. It was camouflaged. Wow. Um, and I just kind of rolled with it. Well, that's and disgusting. It's super gross. But um glad you made it through. I'm glad you found the source before it turned into like a maggoty vans box. What do you mean? Like, I don't know. Like, couldn't something have happened with the, I don't know. Wait, let's, let's change the subject. Wait, did, let's change the subject. In th- the span of a minute, you brought up poop, vomit, and maggots. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Let's change the subject. Yeah. Like, what are we talking I about? I would turn this off. I, I already did. Yeah. I'm not listening anymore. Okay. Who do, um, you, who do you think needs to relax? Who do I think needs to relax? Um, honestly, it's you. I think it's three weeks in a row. That might be a record. I think it's been me each week. No, yeah, I think it's, I think it's a lot. It was me with the pants. Cause I. Cause I don't, cause I don't, cause of the oven pans uh-huh. and then it was me. I think that was it. Like the way I dance or something. The way you, I love the way you dance. <laughs> <Kidding>. <laughs> um, anyway, no, I think it's been me mostly, but anyway, it is you. It's a past version of yourself. Okay. I think past you needs to relax for not getting into sea glass sooner. Uh, mm. I just think we haven't talked about this yet on the podcast and it's important. I think for the world to know that Eric is it okay if I reveal this about You're you? Out my quirky hobby. So I, if if you've been watching my vlogs, you might know that I have recently, well, last summer, became obsessed with rocks and rock hounding, looking for rocks. I've learned all about rocks, love rocks, tumble rocks, 
Just look at them. I just think rocks are great. Rocks, minerals. You love all rocks. The um, Rock obsessed. Very. I love mm-hmm. it. And I just, I love the whole, I could go, I could go on and on. But anyway, this has been a quirky little hobby of mine that when I first got into it, Eric was like, are you okay? Like, and the answer was no. Yeah. I don't but, think you were, but it was like, I all of a sudden was just like so obsessed with rocks and I just wanted to go to the beach every day and look for more rocks. And, right. and I was very obsessed and it wasn't a, a hobby or an interest that we shared. It was something that you supported for me. And in, in the sense you're like, if this is what's helping you make you happy, like I support you, but it wasn't something you enjoyed or like wanted to go do necessarily. It was kind of just like, that's, I'm really happy you have something for yourself to help you to feel better. Um, and, uh, recently Mr. Stocklin, Mr. Carrot has found a love and an interest in sea glass, which is wonderful for me because we can go to the beach together huh. and, I look for rocks and sea glass and you look for sea glass, but you are, might I say, obsessed with sea glass. And it is, it makes me so unbelievably happy that we get so excited together over Mm. things we find at the beach that most people would consider trash. Yeah. Garbage, step on, not think twice about like the majority of humanity, I think wouldn't care about rocks or pieces of glass. Mm -hmm. Um, And we, it couldn't make us happier. And it's something that we share and it makes me so happy, but I'm like, all the wasted time that we could have spent all those months that I was at the beach and you could have been enjoying the sea glass journey with me. I'm so grateful and happy you're doing it now, Mm -hmm. but it's just weird to me that we haven't even talked about it yet on the podcast, like how much we love. It's pretty new beach combing together. Yeah, I, I did. Um, I will say this. I just subscribed to, um, magazine called beachcomber i think there's a, a lot of things at play here mm-hmm. this isn't like a surface level thing i think initially yes i supported you you know and, and thought it was absolutely insane how much you all of a sudden got into rocks but supported it but also like i couldn't like be your partner or com- com- companion in any way you know what i mean like unless i just like kind of followed you around or like sat there um and there's, a, there's, we are lucky to live. We're very lucky to live near a beach mm-hmm. that we can drive to in, you know, 10, 20 minutes. Um, and there has been something so kind of, uh, I was just like, oh, well, I'll start picking up trash, you know, treasure, look mm-hmm. for treasure, like little pieces of glass. That's a thing, which I never had really noticed. I knew what sea glass was, but I never really. Well, Flynn likes to pick it up for yeah, us. Yeah. And I never really like, no, but I'm just saying in my life, like yeah. I was like aware of it, but I never would notice it. I would, I'm sure I would step over it like in, at any and all opportunities. Um, but I've found that it uh, enables me to spend time with you and spend time in nature and not think it is an amazing form of meditation or mm-hmm. therapy to just kind of lose yourself in the search and this, and just staring at a sea of different shapes and colors and trying to spot the difference, mm-hmm. you know, that kind of game. Um, and how interesting it can be to like, to hold something old, to find something that has been discarded and other people might not be interested in and find something that is old. And there might be some sort like, and try and then the search becomes a mystery. Cause you're like, how do, how maybe I can identify this thing mm-hmm. and its origin and it's how old it is. Um, it's awesome. It's really awesome. <laughs> it's, it's so, really it's so, it's so awesome. and so fun. And it's, and it's just a, it's just a nice silly hobby. That's kind of, quirky whatever but it allows me to spend so much amazing time with you outside and uh who knows who knows what pirate treasure it's so fun it is so fun yeah and we've been having so much fun doing it and it really is like there's a history behind each thing you pick up and like what could it be and like the other day we were looking for sea glass and i picked up a bottom the bottom of a bottle that was like pretty intact, but it looked very old. And it was an old Clorox bleach bottle. That we were able to date. That like we were pretty... able to date a hundred to a hundred years ago, almost just under a hundred years ago. Can I, can we show it? Can I show it? If you would like it's right to. right here. I'll grab it real quick. By the way, I'm going to take this moment while he's picking up that bottle bottom to express my apologies for the horrific lighting. The sun, it just so happens to be like 
setting just in a way where it's on me a little bit, kind of, sort of, maybe. And so it's making the lighting very strange if you're watching. I apologize. Anyway. Okay, so... Well, I, I mean, this is a podcast, so a lot of people listening aren't going to be able to see your sea glass. They can... You can hear the glass clinking, clinking they can, about. They can hear it. Um, I feel like I feel like I'm a sea glass collector who's gone on like a talk show, and I'm not gonna tell you. But here's the here it is. Here's the Clorox okay, bottom. Okay, get you a little close up, guys. Uh, for the listener, it's brown, very worn, sea worn, naturally tumbled glass. That says clerks. Clerks. But we find Cloro. lots of stuff like that where it's like the bottom. You have to try to date it using the numbers and like whatever. But it's just pleasing and beautiful and it's old. And I like the history of rocks because you can actually like with rocks. I know that some of them are millions of years old and I can learn all about like the rocks and how they're made. And I like that. Yeah. But Eric's likes Eric likes the story and the idea of like who had this and where did it come from? How old is this? Yeah. Where was it? There's something called pirate glass. Mm -hmm. um, that's like black and when you put a light behind it, it glows a bright color. And it, some people say that like pirates like threw bottles into the ocean and that's what yeah, it is. Yeah, you can, but you can it tell just the difference old, between when glass started being mass produced or when it, or if it's very old, you'll see like bubbles in it and like that's how you could tell and like the thickness and, and whatever. whatever. You could tell the way that um, specifically like bottles, like the way they were capped, you can see in like the threading of the bottle, you can use that to kind of date. Like I have a chart that kind of shows that, which brings me to this, this example, which is, these are all different, like the rims of bottles mm -hmm. um, that have like the kind of the ridges that we, whenever we whenever we find one, we yell to each other, rib for her pleasure. <laughs> Love it. Because like, because it's kind of, I don't know, just like what we say when we find it. See, we, we're like, we're like, we're like cool glass collectors. We like, <laughs> is that cool? Yeah, we're, we're like funny. <laughs> we're funny. Well, no, but we do, we get, we get, uh, we I, get unbelievably excited about different pieces and, and yeah. sea glass collectors is like a whole genre of people. And same with rocks, like rocks, yeah. he's still well, not rocks. Do we like, fit that? Do I fit that? Like when you think of, of someone who, who is, this is like their little hobby. Well, it depends. There's different hobby. kinds of sea glasses. Like there's people who collect glass to make crafts and art. Yeah, I'm not and that. And jewelry. And um, then there's people who just collect it for the fun of collecting it and like, you know, have different reasons why. And um, different traumas. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, we don't, you don't want to make anything from the, the glass. You, you like to, you know, we like to look at it. We literally just look at it. Yeah. And that's what I do with my rocks too. But, um, we, he's got a bowl here of all the different colors. Cause there's some colors that are super rare. This has yeah. got to be the most boring episode no, of our I think it's the most interesting ever. podcast we've ever done. Colleen got me a deck of cards that somebody made, which is like every, every card is like a, it's not like a playing deck. It's a deck of sea glass indicating like index cards and whoever made this deck kind of developed a scale for how rare it is to find certain colors, mm -hmm. which I was surprised to hear that orange is the rarest mm -hmm. and then red and yellow and then yellow. Um, and pink. But finding an orange piece of sea glass, according to this scale, is like one in 20,000. We yeah, have something like that. One. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite color of all the sea glasses, my love? My favorite? Yeah. I like like a light blue, like like this, like the light blue. Mm -hmm. You can you can and it's like you can tell it's the yeah, it's tip of pretty. a bottle there. The pink is very nice to find. I found two, lavender two is pinks. the goat man. I love lavender. Yeah. It's so pretty. Your lavender is great. I'm such a lavender girl. But anyway, it's very fun, and we and I'm I can't believe we haven't talked about it yet because it's all we talk about really when we get to talk is our kids and now. Um, going to the beach and sea glassing and you're not so much into rocks, but you'll try to find some sea for me glassing. sometimes. Yeah. I'll pick up a rock or two for you, but um, it is very fun and we have a blast doing it. And I think we had one of our most romantic moments ever in the history of our relationship. Mm -hmm. One of, I mean, we've had so many, but like it was it's honestly like, it's, it's like a core memory for me. We went, uh, we went looking, can I tell the story? Sure. Um, so we went the other day to look for sea glass. We had like an hour. We had a, where our nanny was here for like one, lo we had one hour to go do it. And I was like, all right. And it, it had been drizzling a little bit, but Eric was like, oh, it says it's going to stop raining. So like, it'll be fine when we get there. So we went to a new beach we'd never been before. And, um, not, not a nude beach, a new beach, a new beach. It well, sounded like you said new. Yeah. I mean, we've been to this beach, but not to look for sea glass. Like it's a whole yeah, other not ball naked. game Yeah, or nude. Yeah. We mm -hmm. just, um, anyway, so we go to look for sea glass and we're, 
it's drizzling, but then it starts to more than drizzle. Yeah, and it pouring. is like, it's raining. And we're yeah. the only ones on the beach. The water's kind of rough. And we're just looking in rock. Like It's like squ- a storm. Squ- it's like a storm. And we're like squatting in the rocks in different various locations of the beach, like looking for rocks and sea glass. And um, so there's, like we mentioned, there's rare pieces of glass that you can find. And we have never on our beaches found any purples. And I found our first purple piece. Mm-hmm. And I, that's my favorite color. And you've been and talking I've about been it. Talking You're about like, it. I gotta find a and purple. I was like, one. I found a purple, and found a purple, and I like in the rain scream across to my lovey. I'm like, lovey, purple, and he like ran over, and he was so excited. And then, and then you had found something like, um, like a, the bottom of a bottle, the bottom of an old bottle, wine bottle, yeah. A, and it was black, which is pirate's glass. But when we put a light up to it, it was. It's like neon teal. Like it's like the prettiest, brightest, bluest teal. Pretty old. It's and it's very old. And so he found that and he's like, This is like my favorite thing I've ever found. We're just so happy. We kept finding these, like, there's no one else on the beach because it's pouring rain. And um, we are just finding such awesome stuff left and right. And we're both just like having so much fun, so happy, just like yelling at each other. Then we found something that's I guess rare and people like to look for, which is a bottle stopper. A glass bottle stopper. A glass bottle stopper, which Eric has been looking for and wanting. There's like, certain so one things thing. that are, that are like considered to be like the trophy of glass hunting. And it's for some reason it's bottle stoppers and marbles. Yeah. So I, I found know. a bottle stopper and you I was sure like, did. lovey. And you came over to me and I was like so excited, but I wanted you to see it. I didn't want to just say mm-hmm. what it was. And he came over and you were so excited. We like, Hugged you, picked me up. We kissed. We were so excited. We just started oh, we're like dancing. a piece of trash. Like it's the literal trash yeah. glass. Like it's garbage. And we were just so excited. We started dancing oh, on the lost beach. Our minds. And we, it was pouring rain. And we were just like laughing and having so much fun looking for glass. And it felt like I was watching a movie. Yeah. Like I was drenched. Like we were soaking wet. And like Eric was wearing a raincoat. I was wearing a jacket that didn't do anything. But it's like we that were, scene in the notebook. We were, we were that wet. <laughs> but just add trash and just rocks. Put, and picking up getting excited trash. about rocks and trash on the beach. But we were just, it was just, I don't know, something about it. It was just so magical the way that it was pouring rain and like the way we both were just dripping, soaking wet in water and like getting excited about finding trash glass on the beach and like screaming to each other and hugging each other and laughing together about the different things we were finding and like joking around with each other about the stuff we were finding. Like we were having so much fun and it really truly felt like a scene from a movie. I was Mm -hmm. like, I would, I, I've, since we went last week and that had that day, I think, I think about every day. I'm like, remember every day of like, it's like the best scene in a romantic comedy Mm -hmm. I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Just like, it was, it was just so fun. And I don't know, this is like, the sea glassing of it all has become like, um, I don't know. It's, it's been like so fun and exciting to see you get excited. We'll see and how passionate. long this hyper fixation lasts. Well, I just think you and I were, we're very different in a lot of ways. So to have a common interest that we're both like super excited and passionate about has been really, really fun. Yeah. Anyway. Is this the most boring episode we've no, ever done? No, like, I'm paying attention. Well, because we like glass, but I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> you like glass. I do have other fun things that we can talk about. So maybe we will talk about those things. Okay. Okay. Oh my goodness, you guys. Uh, oh we took a, a second to have a sip of water and then recorded the second half of this podcast and uh, the audio did not record. So our microphones, well, our microphones didn't record, but the cameras have audio on them. So the remainder of this episode is going to be- Sound great. It's gonna sound kind of terrible (laughs) because we're gonna use the audio from the cameras and not from our podcast mics. I am so sorry for this little hiccup. It's just a whoopsie. It's just a little whoopsie. We're tired and um, made a, I made a mistake. And so anyway, sorry about the lame audio for the second half of this episode, but- we hope you still steal still. I hope you, you still want to listen, but if not, um, that's fine too, I guess. Okay. Here's the bad audio. Enjoy. <laughs> oh no. There's a lot of podcasts in the world. There are. One twenty four. I don't think there's any sea glass podcasts. Should anymore. we start one? I think we did. Oh. We are on one right now. Okay. Sounds good sea to me. Should, do you, would you guys tell me in the comments, would you like if we did an episode of Relax where we were at the beach looking for sea glass. Everybody say yes. Just say yes, even if you don't want that. Um, um, so you have a game? I do have a game I want to play with you. So there's this game um, where you read 
basically gibberish. Okay. And you have to try to figure out what the word or phrase is. The gibberish is going to sound similar to a certain word or, or like phrase. Phonetically? Okay. Yeah, I've heard of this. Okay. So, um, but I think it's important that we look at what it looks like together. Do you know what I mean? Like, okay. Does that make sense what I'm saying? I don't think I made any mistakes. Really yeah. Okay, we'll just take turns and you have to guess the, what I'm saying, okay? Okay. <clears throat> Hints toe cram starry. Instagram story. What? How did you guess? I never would have guessed that. It might be easier when not looking. I don't know. Okay, next one. Mm -hmm. Listen, Sam, Dedges Tration. Listen. License and registration. Whoa, you're good at this. Am I? I would never would have. I think this that. would be a fun one to play while listening to the podcast because. I think it messes you up when you're reading it. Mm -hmm. There's something about it that where it doesn't like compute right. neural pathway. I know. Same as it does being only auditory. Right. All right, Eric, you try. Let me read a couple to you. Hi, dance eek. Say it again. Hi, dance eek. Hi, dance. Hi, dance eek. Hi, dance eek. Yeah. All right, let's do the next one. The next one is chocolate pro knees. Chocolate pro knees. Chocolate pro brownies. Chocolate brownies. brownies. Face poke off his shawl. Face poke off his shawl. Face. Face. I don't know. I guess. Face it... poke off his shawl. Facebook official. What? Facebook official. I don't. I don't know. Why? I don't know. Does it give you an answer? Face poke. Uh. I. I. Yeah. You have to click on it. Face poke off the. Yes. Yeah, Facebook official. You're better at this than me. I can't hear it. Like, even when I'm not reading them. Here, let's look at them together and okay. see how much harder. Because I wonder if, if we read these together and we're looking at, like, the incorrect spelling, if you as the listener out there hear it immediately and it's like, I don't know, maybe it'll be infuriating for you. Okay, ready? Here's the next one. Hand over theme, theme honey. Hand. Hand, hand over the honey. Hand over, hand over the money. Money. Oh. Hand over the honey. I don't want to read honey. What are you? Winnie the boo. Pirate, pirate softy care hip, hip bin. bin. Then pirate, pirate softy care hip bin. Pirate softy care hip bin. Then pirates pirate softy care. Pirate software security. Soft pirate softy care hip bin. Pirate softy care hip bin. Pirate softy care bin. What is it? Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh my gosh, you're right. Okay. <laughs> Police, police do, do not hutch. Police do not hutch. Police, police, police do, do not, not hutch. hutch. Please, please do don't not touch. touch. Please do not touch. I have birth. Okay. I'm, I'm issues, issues so hutch. I miss I you miss so much. much. Oh, that's how, that's like literally how Wesley says it. Amazing. I yeah. miss you so much. I'm issues so much. Okay. Tree, Tree chores hail fright. Tree chores hail fright. Tree. Tree. Chores hail fright. fright. Tree chores hail fright. Tree chores hail fright. Tree chores hail fright. Treat yourself right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. High wheel hallway slope view. Okay. Dude, this is this. This is such a I don't know. I'm not even. High thinking. wheel hallway slope view. I will always love you. Aww. Oh, sweet. You should have sung it. Well, Let's just do one more because I don't know if this is interesting. <laughs> High Creek on. High Creek on. High Creek on. High Creek on. Ice cream cone. Ice cream cone. Okay, that cone. one's not good. Th there's no that was a good one. That was not a good one. Ice cream. But cone. I was right, and I did get it. We did. Anyway, I don't know. Do some more. Give me some more. I think it's fun. See, you think it's, it's fun? fun? To be, I don't like reading them, though. Okay, I'll do all yeah, like, I'll, I'll like see it. Soccer, go all keeper. Soccer, go all keeper. Soccer, go all keeper. No idea. Soccer, go all keeper. Do you know? Soccer. Uh -huh. Goalkeeper. Soccer, goalkeeper. Yeah, soccer, goalkeeper, yeah. yeah. Black Friday. Black Friday. Whoa, how did you get um, very fun, huh? Yeah, it's funny to hear you talk like that. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> um, why don't we read actual English and read some comments? Okay, people. That sounds great. Okay, so uh, like I said, the majority of the comments last week were about your health. Um, I'm fine, guys. Yeah. That was convincing, right? Sure. 
Um, but this one was interesting to me because you know how every once in a while they correct us on how terribly we pronounce things, which was what gave me the idea to want to play that game. Mm. I should have prefaced the game like that. But you know how the constantly in comments are like, guys, why do you say it like this? Why do you say it this like that? Do you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. So um, last week we got a comment saying, you, I, laughing at us saying badminton. Remember? And we were like, how do we say it weird? Are we saying it weird? Badminton? Badminton. Are saying it weird? And my mind was blown in the comments this week because everyone was telling me that it's badminton, not badminton. And I did not know that that word had an N. Certainly not the most controversial word in that sport either. What? Is there a word? What is the thing you hit? Badminton. The birdie? It's called a shuttlecock. Is it? Yeah. Why did I think it was called a birdie? Maybe some people call it that too. I don't know. It's called a shuttlecock? I didn't I joke think, you just I, to get me to say that word. <laughs> yeah, imagine. Imagine that would be like the funniest thing in the world if I was just like, I got to get her to say. Um, just like a dare. You know, I, I Wait, now I'm like, is it? But I can't believe it's badminton. I want to search. I, I totally thought it was badminton. Down. You guys blew my mind with that one. Everyone was like laughing at us being like, you guys, it's not badminton. It's badminton. I didn't know M-I-N-T-O-N. Yeah. Is that one of those... um. Uh, Effects? Mandela effects? Yeah. No, because everyone knew it except for you and me. Uh, Mandela like effects is when everyone thinks it's the run thing. Um, okay, phew. What? It's just like... Shuttlecock. It, shuttlecock, one word. But also called a birdie. I was right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm never right. <laughs> okay, another comment. Um, we were talking about cereals a little bit last week. Yes. And um, Lala Leela said... When I was a child, sometimes you could buy cereal that had an actual vinylish record that you would cut out of the box and it would play on a record player. What? Can't remember the cereal or the songs. I'm 56 for reference. Oh, that's cool. And I looked it up. Yeah. And it's true. This is a real thing. And, and it wasn't. The reason you can't remember which cereals, because it apparently was a lot of different cereals did it. I think it was posts cereals but they have a lot of different brands that did it yeah i think smacks was one of them but like this is like a lot of different cereals right? yeah right yeah. and um one of them was like a jackson five album like they yeah. put like real album but like on, on and it worked on a record player record? that's so cool yeah I, I saw a video of it i watched a video of it on youtube i well, can't believe not it. anymore yeah no they don't do that now another comment that i liked was from hey jenna and she said i will soon be getting a tree frog first of all really jealous um so and congrats. And I will be naming it Carrot. Thank you for the inspiration. And I just felt like that is such a good name for a tree frog. How cute is that? Carrot? Good name for anything. Vegetable, person. That's that great. That's a great. Uh, send us a picture. Um, yeah, we want to see tree frog. Tree frog. Mr. Carrot. Or Miss Carrot. Um, so this one said a $35 to $40 shirt. Because I was talking about the shirt I was wearing and how it was expensive because it was like 35 bucks. A $35 to $40 shirt is not going Sorry. to be nice, laughing emoji. Colleen, you're an adult. You know a good sweater or shirt will cost upwards of $90 to $100? Am I not okay? Uh... I am really confused because Eric is smarter than me, and Eric does purchase clothes that are more expensive because he's all about like making sure it's really good quality so it'll last a long time, whatever. And I'm like... Where's the bargain? Where's the sale? And I keep my clothes forever. Like, I mean, I have stuff from high school still that was really cheap. Um, I don't like spending tons of money on clothes because clothes go out of style. They get dirty, especially like the kids' clothes because they get they ruin up immediately. Kids' clothes is different. My clothes, I'm I'm just like I've ruined my clothes just as fast as our kids do. Um. So anyway, I that kind of is that general like is that is that like the general public feels that way? Kind of this is my talk. question to everyone. What kind of sweatshirt are we talking about? Well, they said a sweatshirt or a shirt. Thirty-five to forty dollars isn't going to be. That's to me really expensive. Like I don't buy a shirt if it's more than like ten, fifteen bucks. Where are you shopping? Anywhere, everywhere. Because you can't get a shirt at Target. Is you can. H&M for it. Yes, you can get at Target. A hundred percent. They have shirts for kids shirts that are like five dollars at Target. Six dollars. Big tech. And they have stuff anytime. Yeah, and you can get stuff on sale anywhere. Uh -huh. You can get a bargain. And it's oh, okay. Just saying. I don't. That seems pretty steep to me. Ninety to a hundred. Is that what they said? Ninety to a hundred are good. Well, for a jacket, you would you would say that. For a jacket, I mean, come on. It's a jacket. Anyway, I I just wanted to know from the general public how much. Please 
please leave a comment. How much would you, do you generally pay for like a shirt or slash sweatshirt? I mean, those are very different. A shirt to me, I'm like 15, 20 bucks. And a jacket or sweater, 30 to 40. I think t-shirts generally, mm -hmm. it's like 29. Mm -hmm. Such 50. $50. I'm talking, well, I'm talking, if you're talking like higher end, like not like high, not like designer stuff, but like I'm talking like relative price, like that's what people between like, to 29 and 50 would be like the height of like, you know, that kind of stuff. And then, yes, yeah, so I'm so sure say they might be like, it might be $90. I think don't know how much clothes are supposed to be or something. Cause I don't like, I don't, I don't want to buy stuff that's shirts that are $50. I don't, I don't think anybody does. I don't think I, I don't think there is a t-shirt I would buy for $50. Like I would spend $50 on like a really nice dress or pair of shoes or jacket, but I would not spend $50 on a shirt. Yeah. Sure. We're talking like a fancy, like, you know, Hot, like super soft kind of cotton. Anyway, whoa! Did you hear that? It was like singing. Someone's singing. It's a ghost. Is that a car? Is this a car? God, why did that sound so bizarre? It's a car springs. You thought it was singing? What you think it was singing? I don't know. I just sounded like someone going. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, <laughs> Which, by the way, speaking of ghosts singing, mm -hmm. um, our daughter Maisie, uh, my one of my favorite things right now is you ask her what her favorite animal is, and she says a kitty. A doggy and a ghost. And a ghost is one of her favorite animals right now, which is, I just, where did she get that? You know, I, the only ghost she knows of and that she's seen is when it was Halloween time, we had the ghost on the door that terrified her. We took it down immediately. Oh, we had this little ghost that was on the door that was like a fun, cute, like kid ghost, but it went, went like, ooh, and it would like light up. And that it made it pretty, yeah, pretty creepy scoring music to it. Yeah. So like, I guess that's true. It's like one of those sensor things that like where the ghost kind of goes up and down on a thing. Right. But that's, as to my knowledge, the only it's her only ghost experience. Only ghost experience. And and for some reason, suddenly, months later, she's like, yeah, ghost is my, and she thinks it's an animal. She's like, a ghost is my favorite animal. I, mean, not, I kind of just got chills, because like... Oh, is she seeing ghosts? She's like, trying to think a of her girl, best friend is like a ghost. Like, I cannot stuff. tell you how she's, many times. She wait, just, I was, I was like, the other, uh, last night, we were having dinner, there was like a glass door like in the kitchen, and she was like waving at the door and, I'm go and I was like, I remember being startled by it being like, who's she waving at? And I go and I, uh -huh. I go and I look at him like, and I go, Macy, who are you waving at? And she kind of talks and speaking in gibberish, like you can understand, what, but when it's full sentences, you don't always, like she can talk in full sentences, but you don't really always get the full story. So it was kind of just one of those, I don't know, I was like, who she explained she was waving to. Outside the glass door. Maybe we say this for next, I we need to talk about this. There. We need to talk about this, but like this episode is pretty much for when we close it out, but like, uh, we need to talk about, maybe we'll talk about this next week because this house is fully haunted, I think, like fully. I know it's and there's fully. been many times where Wesley and Maisie both have said things and looked in certain places. And I'm like, what are you doing? And like here? laughed, like, like as if like a ghost just told them a joke. No, Wesley will like or made a make and say like, who's over there and like point to places in Come like on. the room when the lights are out. Like I'm dead serious. I don't know if I'm going to be on that episode. Well, we're doing it next week. Hopefully, we'll see. Anyway, leave more comments for us. We love your comments. Um, we love uh, reading what you guys have to say and uh, tell us the words we're saying wrong, other than the ones that we purposefully said wrong in the game today. I like your eye makeup today. Oh, thank you. Is it the one that I got Valentine's Day? You didn't get, did, no, I didn't use that one yet. <laughs> I couldn't remember that. I was like, what do you, I thought you got me a foundation and concealer because you did. You got me so many things. It was like hard to remember which, but yeah, no, I haven't used that one yet. I need to use that. I wondered if I picked a good one. I don't know. I, don't know. Yeah, I quickly just like shoved my finger in some shadow. You know, finger. Yeah, my finger in some shadow, like rubbed it on my eyes really fast. I think one people do that with their fingers. I do. People do lots of things with their fingers. All right. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.